verse 27. Peace I leave with you. My peace I give to you. Not as the world gives do I give to you. Let not your hearts be troubled, neither let them be afraid. So in the last hour of his life, he's helping you not be anxious. Let not your heart be troubled. The peace he has in mind might include, you know, global, national, political, intra-ethnic, inter-ethnic peace. It might. It's not, it's not at the front of his mind, though, and I know it isn't because of what he says. He says, peace I live with you, my peace I give to you, not as the world gives do I give you. Let not your hearts be troubled. That's what he has in mind. Of course, there are a thousand fruits. This is the root of a new world order. But on his mind is, you look troubled. Your faces look troubled. I love you. I don't like it when you look that way. (laughs) I don't want to leave you that way. It's that simple. It's that precious. It's that personal. It is. He says, heart. Heart. Don't let your heart, not your globe, don't let your heart be troubled. Neither let it be afraid. I want you to be fearless, Peter. I want you to be a rock. Not as the world gives to you. How does the world give peace? It does. It does. The world gives peace with retirement accounts. The world gives peace with health insurance. The world gives peace with bomb shelters. The world gives peace with safety nets in the society. The world gives peace with police. The world gives peace of mind in a hundred ways, which I'm thankful for. I'm glad they exist. And he says, I'm not giving that way. I'm just not, that's not what I'm doing. What, what do you mean, Jesus? You're not, you're not doing it that way. What, what do you mean? I'm, I'm not giving you the kind of peace that can be taken away when the police go away. I'm not giving you the kind of peace that can be taken away in India, no matter what. I, I'm not giving, that is not what I'm about. Now, how do I know that he means that? That, that the world's peace of mind is circumstantially based. Right? Get enough health insurance, get enough retirement account, live in the right neighborhood, get the right locks on your doors, and, uh, and then just have some peace of mind. And, and that's not what I'm giving you. Not as the world gives to you do I give to you. I'm giving you peace so that when the locks come off, the police go away, the mob comes... And your cross is on the horizon. You've still got it. So now how do I know that? I I know it because in chapter 16, verse 33, he says the same thing, only he makes it explicit. Chapter 16, verse 33, the text I used at Tom Steller's wedding 35 years ago. I have said these things to you that in me you may have peace. In the world you will have tribulation. But take heart. That is, take heart in that tribulation. I have overcome the world. The peace that Jesus gives is not circumstantially based. It is peace in bad circumstances, in tribulation, in no health insurance, and in police breakdown and societal breakdown. It's in these things where our peace, the peace that passes all human comprehension. Now, why did Paul call it that? That's, that's Philippians 4, 7. Peace that passes understanding. What, what does that mean? That means... Human beings can't grasp it and they can't make it happen. God makes it happen. Now, does he give us any clue as to how? Yes, he does. He calls it my peace. Peace I leave with you. My peace 
I give to you. I gave you my joy. My joy meaning I love the Father. I delight in the Father. The Father loves me. Come on in and have our love, our joy. Same thing here. I have a peace with the Father that is unrivaled, Jesus says. My peace is unrivaled in the universe. Would you like some of mine? Come on in. How, how do you get in? How do you get into the peace that Jesus enjoys with the Father? There's no sin between the Son and the Father. The Son looks on the Father and he sees infinite original righteousness. The Father looks on the Son and says, infinite reflected righteousness. And oh, they love each other infinitely. They delight in what they see. How are you going to get in on that? Because he says, let us go. I'm going to the cross tomorrow. And what I'm going to do at the cross tomorrow is I'm going to purchase your forgiveness. I'm going to satisfy the Father's wrath against all your unrighteousness. And I'm going to Provide a completed righteousness so that if you would rest in me, trust me, you will now not just have a peace that I make, but a peace that I have with my Father. I'm making a way for you in, in, to the very experience by the Spirit reigning in your heart, pouring out the peace that exists between the Father and the Son. I'm going to pour it out into your life so that now you will have my faith and my joy and my peace. I tell you, Bethlehem, we have a great Savior and a great salvation. Closing exhortation. Right now, right now, in every service, receive Jesus' faith. Jesus was totally confident in His Father, in His cross work, that Satan would be defeated and all His saving work would be accomplished. And He invites you. I'm showing these things to you so that you can believe with me and receive His joy. His joy. And he displayed his joy most fully by enduring the cross to show the world, I love the Father that much. I'm satisfied that much in the Father. And you can come on in to this infinite, this Vesuvius, this volcanic love between the Son and the Father. Come on in. Receive this, Bethlehem. Spend, spend the rest of your life swimming in this ocean. If this sounds unusual to you, like you've never even heard anybody talk about inviting you into the very love that the Son has for the Father, the joy between them, the peace between them. Just enjoy the next 30 years of discovery. It's very deep. It's worthy of all your life. Don't, don't walk out here saying, oh, that's heavy. They do heavy stuff in Bethlehem. Blah, blah, blah. We don't do heavy stuff. We swim. We just frolic in mystery. Talk about it a little bit. Nobody knows anything. You know what I mean. <laughs> Comparatively. And receive His peace. My peace I give to you. Not as the world gives do I give to you. Don't let your heart be troubled, Bethlehem. Don't let it be afraid. Trust Him. 